Welcome back, folks. Uh, it's bedtime, so I thought I would uh, continue with my bedtime story. Did not expect it to be so uh, densely written. But finishing chapter one is my new goal in life right now. So, let's see how far I can. I left off with the beginning of sorrows. Aha. The portentous thunders of war and rumors of war may be said to have occupied most of the time from the death of our Savior to the destruction of Jerusalem. <laughs> the historic pages which treat of these times are stained with blood. A war between Herod and uh, Aratios, the king of Arabia, opened the bloody scene after a short season of peace. In Seleucia, the Greeks and Syrians rose against the Jews who fled thither from the pestilence in Babylon and slew 50,000 of them. Five years after, the Jews in Persia and the people of Philadelphia contended about the limits of a city when many of the Jews were slain. Four years after this, an insult being offered to the Jews within the precincts of, precincts of the temple by a Roman soldier and being violently resented, a Roman force rushed upon them, which so terrified the Jews that they fled in vast disorder, and 10,000 of them lost their lives in the streets. After another four years, the Jews ravaged the country of the Samaritans in consequence of their having murdered a uh, Galilean who was going to keep the Passover. Many were slain. Soon after, a contention arose between the Jews in Caesarea and the Syrians relative to the government of uh, Kakaria. In the first encounter, more than 20,000 Jews were slain. This contention raged in many cities where the Jews and Syrians dwelt and mutual slaughter prevailed. And in five other cities, the car carnage of the Jews was dreadful. At Damascus, 10,000 Jews were slain in one hour. And at Scythopolis, 13,000 were slain in one night. In Alexandria, the Jews rose upon the Romans and had 50,000 of their people slain without any regard to infancy or age. Soon after, in a contention at Totopata, 40,000 Jews perished. Hmm. 
these contentions rose and increased till the whole Jewish nation took up arms against the Romans and brought upon themselves their final destruction. Thus, the prediction of our Savior quoted received in those days a striking primary fulfillment. Our Savior added, And great earthquakes shall be in divers places. These significant warnings were too Two were accomplished in those days. Two are recorded by Tacitus, one at Rome in the reign of Claudius, another at Apamia in Syria, where many Jews wait. So destructive was the one at the latter place that the tribute due to the Romans was for five years remitted. One also who one who was terrific at Crete, one at uh, Simari, uh, Sima, Smyna, <laughs> one at Miltu, Miltitus, wait, Miltus, one at Chaos, well, Chios, and one at Samos in Philostratus, soon after, in the reign of Nero, one. Both Tacitus and Eusebius inform the uh, Hierapolis and Col Col Colossi, as well as Laodicea, where were overthrown by earthquakes. <clears throat> Sorry, cotton mouth. <sighs> All better. Another is noted at Rome, one at Campana, and others tremendous are mentioned as taking place at Jerusalem in the night just before the commencement of the last siege of, this, of that city. Of these, Josephus gives the following account. A heavy storm burst on them during the night. Violent winds arose, which most excessive, uh, with most excessive rains and constant lightning, most tremendous thunders and dreadful roaring, roarings of earthquakes. It seemed as if the system of the world had been confounded for the destruction of mankind. And one might well conjecture that these were signs of no common event. The famines predicted by Christ were likewise fulfilled. The one foretold by Agabus 
noted in the Acts of the Apostles was dreadful and of long continuance. It extended through Greece and Italy, but was most severely felt in, at Judea. And especially at Jerusalem. The contributions noted as brought by Paul from abroad to relieve the poor brethren there were, were sent during this sore famine. Authors of that time mention two more famines in the empire previous to the one occasioned by the siege of Jerusalem. Take a little break here. 